There is no going back to school if there isn't a teacher in that classroom. Jeffco schools canceled preschool classes at one school because of a lack of teachers in the building. And another district in the metro area is asking voters to raise their own taxes specifically so they can pay teachers. Here's Mark Salinger. While most kids went back to the classroom at Seacrest Elementary in Arvada today, the youngest did not. She was super disappointed. Chrissy McLean was ready to take her three-year-old daughter to her first day of school. Yep, we were. <laughs> they signed up for classes through the state's universal pre-K program. Then she got an email a couple of days ago from Jeffco Public Schools telling parents the start of preschool classes at Seacrest was delayed because there aren't enough teachers. It says, Dear Seacrest Preschool Families and Staff, it is regret that we inform you uh, of a delay in opening of our preschool classrooms for this upcoming school year. The email blames the problems on unforeseen staffing challenges. Districts around the state are struggling to hire teachers. We used to have hundreds of applicants for a teaching position. Today we have five or three or sometimes zero. In Douglas County, Superintendent Aaron Kane says the district is short 52 teachers and 155 teaching assistants. Voters there will now decide whether to increase their own taxes to fund schools. When someone right across the way offers you $19,000 more a year, it's really hard to turn that away. While it's too early to have hard data for this school year, the number of unfilled teaching positions at the start of the school year last year increased 64 percent from 2021 to 2022, from 440 to 722 unfilled positions. Jared Stallins is the dean of the College of Education at UNC in Greeley. This is not just a temporary uh, momentary shortage. Uh, this is endemic. Back at Seacrest, parents now hope preschool will start on the 23rd as the district scrambles to hire some last minute teachers. If they don't hire anybody, <laughs> then what's next? The state actually added incentives to become a teacher recently. Colorado signed on to a compact that simplifies the process for teachers who move here from out of state. And teachers can now get a stipend to finish their student teaching while they're still in school. Still in a state like Colorado where teacher pay is low and cost of living is high, Kyle, it's no surprise that we're in this situation. When I think about teacher pay, I mean, I think about my parents. My parents were both teachers. We lived in a rural area where cost of living was really low. I don't know how like a two teacher household could make a go of it in so much of the Denver metro area and even some rural areas. In yeah, Colorado. you look at places like Summit County, for example, or Pitkin County and Aspen, some of the most astronomically high housing prices in the entire nation. And then you say, well, we need teachers there as well. Some of those counties are actually looking at building housing for teachers so that they can even afford to live there. Oh. All right, Mark Salinger, thank you very much.